uh, chapter four. Um, this is all going to be an ongoing dialogue between Shadow and Mephiles, which means it's all me. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, oh yes. My gosh. Oh yes, I need to drink water for this. My throat is not going to survive are you, this. Are you sure you don't want someone else to play Mephilus just to help you out here a bit? How long is this friggin' thing? Oh uh, quite lengthy. It's a lengthy conversation, let's oh, put it that way. Oh okay. And the bar, I choose you for Mephilus. The bar uh, the bar Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me try my Mephilus voice. It's a lot similar to your regular creepy cavernous voice. Well, I'm trying my best here because he does a sort of similar style. Okay, so who's talking first here? Um, clearly Mephilus. Okay. Isn't Sorry. Mephilus always bold? Yes. Well. Sorry, I got distracted then because I thought I heard a, uh, something happen behind me, but okay. <clears throat> It was me all along! <laughs> Mad Hog! <laughs> Yay! Oh, you know, it was me! <laughs> Hugs! <laughs> okay. Surprise! I, I came all the way to England just to take you by surprise! <laughs> <laughs> and you're back in Italy already! <laughs> yes! Yes, that's, that's me! That's me! <laughs> okay, let me carry on here. I don't like the situation. I just want you to know... Mephiles, you don't like anything. As a matter of fact, you'd love to erase existence itself if given the proper chance. True, but this time is different. And how is it? There's something horribly wrong about the whole ordeal. It's... Yes. It's... Yes. Monty Python's Flying Circus. Oh, what's wrong with that? That would be so much better. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> the meaning of life is a big mistake. Uh, it was pretty good, actually. Parts it, were better than others. <laughs> it's a big mistake. We shouldn't have agreed in the first place. Are you worried, brother? This is so unlike you. What happened to Mephiles the Dark? The Chaos Maker. The Chaos Maker? Sounds like a stupid <laughs> Photoshop program, honestly. <laughs> it, for me, chaos, chaos, maker, chaos Maker sounds like as if it's like a new soda stream uh, uh, maker thing. No, it sounds like an editing program, honestly. <laughs> chaos Maker 18. Yeah, instead of photoshopping anything good, it just wrecks everything. <laughs> yes, pretty much. I am quite proficient at Chaos Maker HD. <laughs> That's Mephilus all I can use. Mephiles the Dark, the Chaos Maker, the Messenger of Destruction, and other such edgelord names. And so the, the Fresh Maker comes on Mentos. Mentos! Chaosca versus Fresh Maker! Mentos! The Fresh Maker! Okay. That's the whole point, Shadow. This thing has nothing to do with creating genuine chaos and random genocides around the globe. So, regular it's... Tuesday then. It's something more, something that could very well change the whole concept of life as we know it. Assisted birth! That's going to change life as we know it. Okay, now actually, Mephiles is more of a chaotic neutral who thinks is a chaotic evil. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's a mis so he's a misguided player. <laughs> yes, yes he is. Oh, God. That's not going to make things complicated or anything. <laughs> I don't care. The only thing I care is ellipses. Yes, <laughs> yes, ellipses. I know, Steves. You're doing this and that only for her. Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. We all know the drill here. Mephilus has become sassy. Oh, he's <laughs> always sassy. 
You, yeah. you are uh, one terrible freak. Are you snapping your fingers like girlfriends? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Crying out loud. What is oh, this? No, what? I did it. <laughs> okay, what is this? What is this? Mean hogs? <laughs> you know how it is important to me, don't you? To bone a pink hedgehog. Yes, <sighs> I, I've seen it all. It's horrible. Please stop it. <laughs> Actually, he's referring to someone else for a change. Yes, I know who he's referring to. I decided to make a joke out of it. Right. Of course I know, damn it! I was there. Remember. Damn it, Shadow, you're out of control. Give me your badge. <laughs> I've always been with you since my birth. Just like he hatched from an egg. Oh. Again with the eggs. <laughs> I'm going to call you eggs, Benedict. I'm just trying to say that it's been 50 years, Shadow. Perhaps, just perhaps, you should try something a little different. You know, be with the cool kids. <laughs> I mean, you know, come on. Literally, she'd probably be dead now anyway if she wasn't killed then. So, you know, upsides. You should... Move on. <laughs> and she definitely would not have led a full life with you around. Are you kidding me? You saw how... How could I ever move on? Chronic. How could I ever forget? Ah! You're yelling <laughs> at me again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and you saw how it played Lambasted with the whole freaking thing with Sonic and that weird princess that I can't even remember the name of, so... It's probably for the best, Shadow. It's probably for the best. Her name, her name was Princess Elise, and I don't know why I remember that. I remember that name Princess as well. Princess Nine Character, gotcha. Princess Princess, Princess Damsel number no, number no, seventy nine. She's, she's Princess Princess. Okay. Okay. Double the princess, double the fun. Even Princess Peach is, has more character and badass than her. Well, at least in the Paper Mario games. You know, the good ones. Um, yes. Anyway. Sorry. Okay, listen. After all this time, I have one chance, as amazing as it could be, to see her again. And all I have to do in return is to collect those damn Chaos Emeralds. Those gems. The seven, the seven Chaos Emeralds. A piece of cake here. Eh? Those bonus stages are totally easy. No, they Wait aren't. a minute, well, are we going by like Sonic 1 bonus stages or like Sonic CD bonus stages? Uh, <laughs> I'd say I'd say um, Sonic 3D Blast bonus stages. Oh, so super easy, gotcha. Oh, they're easy. Oh, okay. The Sonic 3D Blast ones are actually ridiculously easy comparatively. Yeah, they are. Next to Sonic okay. Heroes. Sonic Heroes are very easy. That did not prevent me from hating them. Anyway. Okay, I mean, so... compared to something like Sonic 2, which was, you know, a lot more difficult and in the okay. same vein. I've always hated the bonus special zone in any Sonic game as a principle, so... What, did you get dizzy on the Sonic 3 stage with the spears? Uh, I think I'm going to barf. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, shut up. I've already got two of them. And I'm about to find a third. And then I shall find that fourth damn Chaos Emerald. I can sense its presence nearby. And that brings us to another topic I'd like to discuss. Would these... Emeralds supposed to be impossible to find. I think we're having things a little too easy. It's almost like as if someone or something has conveniently placed them around for us to pick. No, it's just how things work since Sonic Adventure. They stopped putting them in heavily fortified bonus stages, so, you know, <laughs> that's, that's how things go. They're not supposed to know that. <laughs> they're not fakes if that's your worry they're quite authentic the fact that they're easy to find is not what concerns me 
That's right, the 100% authentic. Watch, I can chaos control with this. And I could not chaos control at all with a fake M. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, yes, Sonic. Yes. Okay, yes. moving on. Moving on. Yes, yes, I'm triggered right now. <laughs> Shake the screen, I'm triggered. <laughs> oh. So the mighty Shadow the Hedgehog, the ultimate life form, does have a concern. Wait a minute, did the game ever actually confirm that he really was the ultimate life form? Because I they keep saying it. back and forth on that like like five times. Uh, he was created and meant to be the ultimate life form with the blood of Black Doom to conquer the Earth in the name of the Black Army in his Shadow the Hedgehog game. So, yeah, he's been confirmed as the ultimate life form. I thought the bio lizard was supposed to be the ultimate life form. No, no, the bio lizard was uh, the first uh, experiment. A last minute final boss introduced for the sake of having a final boss that had nothing to do with anything up until that point. So, yes. Yes. <laughs> Does have a concern. And what would that be? Once we found all the emeralds. What is he going to do with them? Did I already mention that I don't trust him a single bit? Oh, but I'm so trustworthy! <laughs> him. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Okay. How I've half girls, I know where you're going, I just don't care. Aw, oh, Ross, don't be like that. Well, the reboot sucks. Anyway, um, about a couple of thousands times. Well, a couple of thousands. <laughs> yes, the thousands. He ate a lot of them. <laughs> the hundred thousands. Moving on. Well, I don't trust him a single bit. <gasps> and if you would have a little consideration for my opinions, you would listen to your brother, Lechuk. <laughs> Okay, now I have edit, mister. Who's the older brother here? Technically, we are twins. All right, let me rephrase it. Who's in charge here? <sighs> you freep wood. Why are you referencing that freaking Telltale Monkey Island episodic series of all things? No, I'm referencing the uh, Monkey Island 2 ending. The other. Okay. Exactly. Therefore, I call the shots, and I say we are going to collect the Chaos Emeralds and deliver them to our benefactor, and that's final. Fine. Fine. Cough, idiot, cough. <laughs> what was that? Nothing, just a cough. Cough, jerk, cough. <laughs> really? Hmm. Hmm. Let's get going. Hooray! Uh, <laughs> Mephilus! Mephilus, the, the evilest of evils, turned into a comedy duo with Shadow. He's meant to be a petty little brother type character who could actually wield powers of immense distraction. Because I wanted to give him a bit more of character and personality than the game did. So yeah, I went I... with this unpredictable route because I don't think anybody would expect that. Uh -huh. Well, that's true. No one expected it. No, no one expected it. And that's all. <laughs> you don't know what the situation is yet with Shadow and Mephi, so... Oh no, god, no, I don't. Oh god, there's a lot of dialogue in the next area, too. It's an exchange between Sonic and Tails. Isn't that lovely? Yes, it is lovely. <laughs> And there was no convenient um, bloody um, bold face text to separate them. Yep. Uh, but it's fairly easy in this case to understand who's who. And that's pretty about and that's pretty about it. Oh my god. And that's, that's pretty, pretty about it. <laughs> and that's pretty much about it, man. The story of my Mondo life. So let me get this straight. You're an uber awesome superhero from a world called the Cool Planet of Mondo Cool People, <laughs> and 
You came on Earth. <laughs> you came on Earth. Wow, that's a pretty big cum shot. Oh, come on! No! You came on Earth and you... Why? Because... Because... You came on Earth because you wanted to eat some hot dogs. Hey, it's Chili Dogs, bro. Chili Dogs, I love them. I could eat thousands of them. I'd do anything to get a chili dog, or even <laughs> whip it out, <laughs> like a oh cane. My gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Then you found all these ugly, uncool, mechanical slow-mos, badniks, with the fat Eggman. Yosemite Sam-like leader, Eggman, and you started destroying them and became this planet's uber-cool hero. Did I forget anything? I can smash through steel walls and pulverize people with my high laser! Yeah, I'm Sonic! Gotta go fast! Gotta also, fly I fast! Dog. Also, Sonic. I do anything for a chili dog! Sonic! I'm Sonic! I'm Sonic! So I do anything for a chili dog! I Sonic! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta lie fast! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> This is where it all goes to madness. Yeah, if it wasn't before. Oh, could, oh yeah. I could I ever forget that part. <laughs> <laughs> you could, apparently. Oh, man. Uh, Ross, narration, please. Yes. Oh, boy, I can't the last time I placed the older hedgehog smoked, right? No, no, if, uh, no sarcasm. if sarcasm was a living being... Yeah, that's it. Okay, sorry. If sarcasm was a living being, it would have had the form of a two-tailed anthropomorphic fox. Sonic, right? What brings you to the mystic ruins? Asked the still-polite young Kitsune. Yes. More for you. The older hedgehog smirked before answering. Why? I'm here for ya, little buddy. Okay. First of all, don't ever call me little buddy again. I'm not little for my age, and I'm not your buddy. Secondly, say what? Say what? Police! Everybody knows Miles Tails Brower, the youngest, greatest hero on Mobius, the smartest kid in the world, the fastest being alive! Wait, wait, really? On that last sentence, he hinted a little bit of irony. Can you hint irony at all? <laughs> uh, I have no idea. That's just how they call me. I don't think I'm that fast. We find the shy, easily flattered, flattering kit. Well, you see, uh, some slight exaggerations can come from um, certain scenarios, uh, so it's best to ignore them. <laughs> well, I'm glad you brought that up, Tails, because I happen to agree with you, my main fox. Ross. Oh, there we go. Sonic started using a fake Briss accent for no apparent reason. Oh, yeah, that part of Sonic said I am. Well, I happen to agree with you, my main folks. In fact, I am the jolly good fastest being on two feet around here. Now, Tails' face showed a curious mix of annoyance and perplexity. We call that befuddlement. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? I, indeed, am here to, indeed, challenge you, challenge your honor, and, indeed, pride in a race! Indeed. And your eggs! I challenge your Sonic eggs! Said this still with the fake gentleman slang. <laughs> what? No way, Jose! <laughs> <laughs> no way! Cup. Jose, no way! Jose, now there is a wrestler in NXT called No Way Jose, so... <laughs> really? I don't know oh what... God. Why do you I watch don't... NXT? Because NXT is good. 
Oh, Aang XT, never mind. I, I, I got mixed up with TNA, so I... Why would I ever watch TNA? Oh, my God! Well, <laughs> maybe, well, actually, maybe I would watch it to see The House of Hardy, which is the only interesting thing about it. There is nothing else that would attract my attention, so... Oh, anyway. yeah, I apologize for getting the two confused momentarily. How dare you? I, I know. I know! He has insulted the broken brilliance! I shall hit you with my broken brilliance! What? No way. The quick response of the cub. Are you a chicken? Fine, let's do it. But that was easy. Another quick, <laughs> rather unpondered response. He was a kid, after all. War veteran or not. Cool. Way past. Prepare to eat me dust, big guy. You since finally dropping the fancy accent. Yeah, he dropped the fancy accent, but he uh, decided to go Scottish then for a second. Prepare to beat me dust. <laughs> you, you, you. <laughs> you said this was a short paragraph. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to need to ask you a favor. Um, oh, me? No, you two guys. Uh, I need you to keep reading for a while. While I go retrieving my battery charger in my other room, because otherwise my computer might die before that. Oh, yeah. okay. I'll be back as soon as possible. All right, then. So we're going to be continuing reading this. So, uh, okay. Correct. Bye, let's, no let's shenanigans! Shenanigans? Nah. No, of course not. Ross, that's shenanigans herself. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> oh, that's actually true. He's tried. left by now, right? Yeah, right. I'm pretty sure he's did left. Nice. Okay, yes. so I say we skip down to the bottom of the page. <laughs> I think yes, we let's, start let's with do... somewhere in a certain flower field. When we hear him come back, let's just pretend we finished the whole fanfic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, okay, let's actually do this seriously for now. Well, yeah, okay. 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 Um, are we there yet? No. 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 <laughs> we're not there yet. We're not there yet. We're never there. When we're going to be there, I'll let you know. Wow, well, shut up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Gee. I was just asking. <sighs> Are we there yet? Ah, death to all who oppose me. <laughs> Are we there yet? <laughs> Are we there yet? No! Are we seriously there yet? Because no. I've had enough for tonight. <laughs> no, we're not there yet, Rob. Uh, uh, you know what? Yes, we are there. We do, we, we... Yay! I can, I can go get something to eat. <laughs> no, you can't. Yes. Well, you, you can't. Yes, you can. No, you can. No, you can. Yes, you can. No, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> okay, anyway. Ciao, ciao! No, cheese. Rocks cannot be eaten. You could hurt your teeth. Station Square. He's the chow. Too stupid to eat. Oh, Ramon Hog, you, 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 just, you, you just missed the entire fan fiction. We just finished it. No, <laughs> That's no. That's right. We just no, got down I... to somewhere in a certain flower field. Station Square was a modern and vital city. It had everything. Shops, museums, Interesting people, which are extra, by the way. Not even the earlier menace of nuclear holocaust seemed to stop its vitality. A good okay, place uh, to live. Before continuing, I want to know your opinion about the last paragraph you just went through. Uh, it was stupid. It was dumb. Yes, then it served its purpose. A good place to live. To make a family. By the way, it was still Mephibus to be Shadow, by the way. Yes, we know. Yes, we get it. <laughs> to raise Cream, a six-year-old Mobian rabbit. The most adorable thing ever that has no point in the story, but still uh, is adorable. yeah. That is about to change. Violently. I meant in the Sonic games, but okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, she's it's also the only character that actually has a mom. That lets her go out and fight the forces of evil. For Ross, no do you reason. have any idea how many times we had this exact conversation with you? Yes. yes. 
I yes. am still hung up on that. I'm sorry. Cream, a six-year-old Mobian rabbit, used to live in the city with her mother, Vanilla, who is the most adorable little mom you ever find that has no point in the story whatsoever, <laughs> and her chow pet. She was a happy-go-lucky little kid. Yeah, the chow was her Pokemon starter. That's yes. right. And the mom had a chow pet as well that was a Meowth. <laughs> My Pokemon starter was Lavos. <laughs> you know, I still want to do a Pokemon slash Digimon slash pet training fighting campaign with you. <laughs> that would be so fun, honestly. Bit complicated, yeah. <clears throat> she was a happy-go-lucky little kid. The kind that looks adorable and completely innocent no matter what. She loved Oh, gee, sister. laying it thick, aren't you? Yes. Well, she's gonna die. She's gonna die horribly. Uh, no. No, I spoiled this to you. She will not die. She loved her city. Everything around her will die. She loved uh, her city. Yes, yeah, she's and the Alpha and the Omega. <laughs> she loved her city. <laughs> no, she didn't. It could offer. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to lay this on thick enough so you two will shut your ham sandwich faces. <laughs> And you too better like it, because I'm uh, smiling my head off. I'm sure uh, you she, are. Oh my god, the is going straight Chloe. <laughs> she loved her city and everything it could offer. There was, however, one thing that even the perfect metropolis of Station Square couldn't give her. Desires. I mean, daisies. <laughs> Um, have you visited a flower shop, ma'am? <laughs> Desire! Like, oh no, don't tell me she's gonna go out the city and get into stranger danger. Uh, oh, of course uh, she is. Uh, uh, okay, Devar, I won't tell you she's going to go out of the city and get into stranger <laughs> danger situations. Oh god. Daisies, unlike most city animals, city animals, the girl, was, the girl was really fond with nature. City animal is a slang for people living in the city. Yes, yes. I know. And it's in it's quotation like marks animal. because it's a freaking goddamn stupid pun from hell. Yes, and party animal. <clears throat> Particularly, yes. she had a weakness for flowers. Because it's the only thing good that her mom will feed her. <laughs> Hi, Mom. How, what are we having for dinner? Carrots? Mayhaps? Now we're having flowers, Me? dear. Oh, no, I Me? don't want flowers, Mom. We had she flowers was... last time. Shut up and eat your flowers, dear. I don't know where I was going with that, but okay. She would often walk out from the city lines and go into the... Stranger Danger Woods confines, only to pick some Stranger Daisies. <laughs> Always followed by her loyal friend, Strange Cheese. Stranger chow, Things chow. had happened. Yes, thanks, Ross. Ross Chow. <laughs> no, cheese. no Cheese? Yes, Cheese was me. I was Cheese. I mean, I was Cheese all along. <laughs> no, I was You're Cheese. Cream, I was mean. Cream. Ah, I was Cream and or Cheese. Okay. You were cream cheese. Stop, you're making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I am incredibly hungry right now. No cheese. Aha, uh -huh. thank you for that. No cheese. I don't know how you were born. Maybe mom... Actually, come to think of it, do you want to be cream? Uh, the bar? I'll try. I was playing cream. <laughs> no cheese. I don't know how you were born. Maybe mom knows it. Cheese was cream's chow. A chow oh, that explains is... everything. A chow <laughs> is forever. The birds. An old, mo <laughs> an old motto used to. An old motto used to say. Yes, an old motto used to say itself. <laughs> In a certain way, it was the truth, because no one could handle the truth. Chow was loyal and social being. With an intelligence uncommon to normal pet animals. Some said that they were imps, the legendary joyful spirits from the fairy tales 
and just like them, they were friendly by nature. It is unknown to this very day the effective origins of these cute tiny figs, but one thing was for sure. Once a chow ch- chose, ch- well, once a chow chews its master, <laughs> it, <laughs> it, it's it freaking remains, Pokemon. <laughs> it remains, it remains loyal to him slash her or them. Could have been easier. <laughs> Forever. Uh, it's freaking Pokemon. <laughs> character creation you select a character it's either male or female and they get their first pokemon and the pokemon has to choose them too <laughs> yes yes and cream <laughs> would raise cheese up into the sky like simba the lion and then it would smile at each other and then <laughs> and he then would pee on her friendship and then he would pee on her yes anyway Damn you, man. Why do we have to have this joke? I'm going to cut you out of your own house and into the (laughs) continent. (laughs) Because this is supposed to be fun without any toilet humor. Smile, damn it. If it's well timed, even toilet humor can be fun. No, it's not. No matter what context. Mm. Cream and cheese. But sexual humor is a okay. Uh, I, 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 I don't have anything to say. Otherwise, I'll be a hip hop hypocrite. <laughs> Cream and cheese. It sounds like a tremendous pun, doesn't it? No, it's not a pun. That's not what a pun is. Had that kind of relationship. The, the, the not that sort of relationship. Get your mind out the gutter. A relationship based on trust, loyalty. And friendship. No! Stop it! They would always be there for each other. Internet, stop it! Friendship! Until death and beyond. Uh, It is funny. They are not married, you know. (laughs) It is funny how things could turn out sometimes. A cruel irony indeed. Okay, so um, perhaps this foreshadowing was a bit heavy, but... Uh, <laughs> a little. <laughs> a little bit, but uh, now we get to the best slash worst slash what was I thinking part of the story. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. oh yes! <laughs> Jeez, what's wrong? Why are you shaking? The little imp's water drop like head was trembling in sudden agitation. Its smaller blue doll-like body followed suit. Okay, so you might have noticed I forgot to actually add a physical description for the Chow, so I added it here. You just currently put it in there now. At the last minute. (laughs) I'll just crow bodies in here and no one will notice. There we go. (laughs) It's it's smaller blue doll-like body followed suit. Its fly wings ceased to move. Its stare was locked on something. And it was looked back by unnaturally black eyes. Black finally, eyes! Finally, Cream realized they were not alone. Okay, this is a character that I must voice because I must take responsibility for my actions. Oh um, gosh, I don't want to know what you did wrong here now. Could you uh, make this character, like, say it in the most stranger, danger, creeper voice possible? I can most certainly try. (laughs) Hello, little bunny. (laughs) The stranger said... It's Big Brother's voice. (laughs) And she could see him pretty well now. Dark purple fur. White on the chest. No, please, not this character. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> no, <laughs> a pair yes. of boots and a belt with two handguns hanging on the hip sides uh, and a long broken tail. What have you done to this character? He is the coolest character in this story. Retroactively, this is the coolest character in the story. And I say retroactively because you would have to read the rest of it for a context, because right now, right now, it won't seem like the best character in the story. (laughs) 
No. He was wearing a canvas hat that covered most of his face. Give him the look of an old cowboy. Cream and cheese were quite upset to meet this newcomer. Well, how Especially... dare you? How dare you interrupt us while we're picking up daisies? <laughs> Especially due to its weapons. Who are you, mister? Asked the uncomfortable kid. The Mobian slowly raised his it's hat. It's me, Yonaka! <laughs> revealing his face. He had a pointed canine nose and wolf ears pressed under the hat. What truly scared the bunny and her chow were the, his eyes, pitch black, and that one large tooth that came out from the left side of his mouth. Um, to be fair, um, Nack's eyes really were no different than, like, any other Sonic character from the time that he was made. Okay, so since every modern rendition of a Sonic character have uh, irises around their pupils, yes. but since uh, Fang never actually had that updated look, he remained with the classic look of uh, black mm -hmm. cartoony pupils, so he decided to yes. run with that and giving black eyes! You the know? black all the black eye use <laughs> anyway he was smiling a mischievous malicious smile showing the rest of his sharp teeth like a predator <laughs> ready to jump <laughs> on its prey sure to catch it without breaking a sweat i want you to imagine uh Sher khan when he meets mowgli which one? The original cartoon or the, I mean, the original animated or the updated live version? Action. I have not seen the live action one, so go with the original one. Okay. okay. Uh, yes, I'll go with that one. Though, mind you, the live action version is actually a great update to the original animation. Yeah, but it's not animated, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, animation is and the real life animals look really distracting. Animation <laughs> is better. To the animation, yes, an specifically. Yes, yes, animation is better. Even still. though it was cheap as all hell, but uh, st yep. still. Definitely by Disney standards, but... Well, it was that period of time. I mean, between the 60s and the 70s. Oof, rough period. Yeah. And the go, 80s, too. Yeah, let's carry on here. Uh, let's see, where were we? Uh, like, like the big bad wolf before eating the little red riding hood. Okay, this reference in this context should not be possible. Like a killer who loves to kill. Yes! Yes, we get it! <laughs> right on with it! And so... Like a fetus taster that loves to taste fetuses. Okay. And so... And that answered. is a monster girl. <laughs> and so... He answered. And I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> the name's Fang. Bloop! I can imagine just the snapping his finger to his canvas hat so that he can actually be seen in the face. In typical uh -huh. cowboy fashion. The name's Fang. Snap! Fang the Sniper. Uh, what is your name, little bunny? She was utterly terrified now. Just like me! <laughs> his voice sounded cold and calculative. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm cream and uh, this cheese. I'm uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Sniper. A polite little girl, aren't she? <laughs> Isn't she? Oh, whatever. It, that's what it says, aren't she? <laughs> I know, I know, I know what it says. It shouldn't, but it says that. <laughs> he didn't do or say anything. He just stood there in front of her. Grinning even more, and then he brought out a guitar and started saying, "Well, how do you do? How do you do?" Everybody coming down the range saying, "How do you do?" <laughs> okay, it turns out to be actually Enzo Amore in disguise, and he starts. He picks up a microphone and says, "My name is Enzo Amore, and I am a certified G and a bona fide stud, and you can't teach that." I was more okay, referencing anyway. a Tom and Jerry episode. I but... know. Oh, okay. Anyway. Okay, where were we? Uh... Uh... Uh, okay, what can I do? He just stood there in front of her, grinning even more. 
Okay, what can I do for you, Mr. Sniper? She asked. Yeah, yeah, she asked. The creature uncrossed his arms, revealing to Cream's further shock. Okay, I love this. A further shock. A shock atop the other already existing shock. Welcome to the club of putting shocks atop other shocks. <laughs> this is the shock master. <laughs> the shock master! Kapow! <laughs> that, okay. Further shock master that his gloved hands had only four fingers instead of the regular five. Just who was this guy who just invaded the the realistic style? He looked right. too cartoonish. <laughs> okay, so um, you know how every character, despite their cartoonish appearances, still have five fingers? Yes. Um, Fang the sniper only has four fingers. Again, yeah. that was something more indicative of the earlier Sonic characters. Yeah. Um, Before so the redesign. Th so there was this interesting fan theory in which he uh, apparently cut off his fingers because he was part of a criminal syndicate that was well, very that Yakuza style. And I'm going with that. <laughs> oh, okay. Whatever. All right. Uh, sure, whatever. It's your freaking headcanning here, so... Actually, it's not even that. It's something even more dark and possibly dumb. Okay, carry okay. on, Mad Hog. Okay. Let's get through this. <sighs> I was hoping for you to ask, in fact. This will make things easier for the both of us. Said, Said Fang. Fang. She looked confused now. Her chow too. The sniper continued. I have a problem, see? A very big problem. That requires your unwilling collaboration. <laughs> alert! 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 <laughs> ah, no, I, you to, yeah, okay, you have to... Uh, okay, you have Quickly, to admire... You the, have to the, admire... Get the this. Gotta get okay. the guns on this! Rocket launchers! We have you to get to... everything! Run, get Goku to stand in front of this <laughs> between can I? Them. Can I continue? No. <laughs> you, you have to admire his honesty, though. Uh, <laughs> I mean, maybe, but no. Okay. Um. At the mention of the word unwilling, a sudden suspect crossed <laughs> the rabbit's mind. Oh, look, it's a suspect. I spotted him. <laughs> you see, darling... I've been hired by uh, Dr. Eggman to go and kill his, uh, let's say, fugitive nephew. He pays lots of money, you know, and I don't really want to disappoint him, because he pays lots of money, you see. There's a problem, though. Uh, it seems that this individual is pretty fast to catch, and also that he found shelter right here. Imagine that. With the local freedom fighters. Again, imagine that. What are the odds, am I right? That's pretty bothersome, don't you think, my dear? What does that have to do with me? <laughs> and now she was really terrified. We're getting there. So here's what I thought. Since this fucking farts, which is an alternative name for freedom fighters. Well, so here's what I thought. Since these fucking forts love to ply the... No, I'm not going to go Australian, I swear to God, no. <laughs> Since these fucking farts love to play the cliché hero part, what better way to dispose of them all than a classical hostage with deadly trap situation? And that's when you, an innocent, lovely, armless and cute little girl, come in handy. Dude, it's called chloroform. <laughs> That's not his way. He can make this really easy. <laughs> That's not his way. Honesty is his way. Apparently, I am the exposition weasel. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, the jokes, the the jokes of never returning. I could make here. Oh man. Scratch that. Wait, Scratch, where's Grounder? She, she was. No, that was terrible. 
she was utterly horrified on the verge of fainting, which was oh! make easier. That makes things really easy for him. <laughs> his face was delighted and amused. His right hand was caressing his right-handed gun. And that is not a euphemism. That is literally happening. <laughs> so, will you be my hostage for today, little bunny? Oh, since I, okay. he's asking. <laughs> okay, well... So basically, he's on one knee. He gives the gun to her, like a wedding ring. Goes like, "Be my hostage." <laughs> there was definitely something in that voice. <sighs> in the unnatural and calm way, he was talking about kidnapping a child and murdering people without remorse. That was quite unnerving. This is the horrible part that I regret ever writing. Even though I did not mean it at the time, it was all part of a very specific, overcomplicated ruse that will only become clear like three stories from now. But I still ended up writing this, and in the here and now moment, this next part is just very not good. Very not good at all. Oh gosh, I'm by dreading the, this. By the way... He continued. If you refuse to cooperate, then I'll be forced to rip your soft, tender flesh with a bullet. Stop, right soft, off. tender flash. <laughs> flash. <laughs> flash. <laughs> ah, oh. You're out of the universe. Okay, I'm glad you're laughing now. Your soft, tender flesh with a bullet. Right after ripping you. Do you what? know what rip is? <laughs> What? <laughs> how bad okay, to moving on. Okay, moving on. <laughs> never looking at this back forever. Moving on. I'm never going to repeat this ever again. Uh, she slowly shook her head, unable to do other things. The sniper's smile widened even more. Of course. You're not old enough to know. Oh, <laughs> gosh. I don't know whether to put clothes on or take them off right now. You, it's, I'm so dirty after reading this. Let's just say that if you want to be obedient, then I'll teach you about it and trust me when I say that I'm not a patient teacher. Do you understand me? Ross, help me here. Bad touch. <laughs> You're not helping! <laughs> I've read the entire fucking Monster Girl encyclopedia, dude. I mean, the rape is icky, but... I mean, eh. <laughs> okay, okay, spoiler. Uh, there, uh, Typically, okay. it's... I, 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 there hasn't been a weasel Monster Girl yet, but... I'm okay, sure stop, stop, stop right too. there. Okay, stop right there. I'm going to spoil this for you for everyone's sake. She was never in any danger of death. This was an empty threat, completely empty threat, I can assure you. There was never any danger for her to suffer death. What this guy is doing is very elaborate mind games to make the heroes believe is absolutely an unforgivable bad guy, so that they would react accordingly, as the heroes do. And, he's and going again, to... you went straight for the cheap seats with that, with the rape card. Again, retroactively... I know you're younger, and a lot of people do that when they just start writing. No, here's the thing. I did not go cheap for it. He went cheap for it. It was all part of a narrative he was weaving for himself to make look himself as the cheap-ass villain. So you're saying that instead of you writing the story, he was writing his own story within your story? It's that kind of character. It becomes clearer only a couple of stories from now. Again, I had to spoil this beforehand, even though it's kind of an important point. But I had to, because otherwise this could not possibly be justified in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, well, you you literally had take three stories to, you know, make that apparent. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, well... Right. Again, retroactively. <laughs> you regret this. You regret this greatly. Yes. Fortunately, I have certain writings that did not see the light of day ever. So, thank God. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, where was I? Uh, she nodded. she nodded this time. Okay. Very good girl. Now, let's go. I hate flowers. 
Oh, Before yes. anyone could do or say anything, especially Kareem, the little imp decided to attack. They say that Chow was forever. Chow Chow! Went the hero imp. Da da da! That once a Chow chews its master, it will remain loyal to them. Amused looked the sniper. Oh, Cream this sounds familiar. Cream and Cheese had this kind of relationship. Shocked was the rabbit. They would always be there for each other. Cheese! Went the frightened bunny. Until death and beyond. Bang! 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 bang. Have a nice day! <laughs> bang! Bang! He shot them down. Bang! Bang! bang, bang. You strike me down. Bang! Bang! My baby shut me down. <laughs> Went the unforgiving bullet. A cruel irony indeed. Covered by the laughs. The tearful cries were. But then again. Life is cruel, isn't it? Life is unfair. Yeah, but the thing is. like, If you ever actually played the few games that have like um, cheesing it. You know, freaking cream and cheese, the actually yeah. like ridiculously overpowered in those games because basically cheese gives cream like a ridiculous range attack that can get everyone and makes okay. bosses basically useless. <laughs> and that's why I killed him. <laughs> so it was you all along, my dog. So be because I guess the climax of the story wouldn't be very fun if, like, suddenly Cheese just pimped thing and, like, suddenly, I'm sorry, Cream just pimped thing and suddenly Cheese was mauling Dr. Eggman's face off and he crashed the Egomatic and died. No, but come to think of it, that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> because that's essentially why I think of like the, those boss fights of what's actually happening. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we're here now with oh this banter between these two again. Ah, oh, these brothers—they are like strong bad and strong sad arguing. <laughs> Did you hear it? <sighs> what? No, wait. Actually, Shadow should be strong bad, and Mephiles should be strong sad. <laughs> Did you hear it? What? Oh, nothing. Just a single gunshot, followed with cries of pain and maniacal laughs. And I wasn't anywhere near it. Damn. I need my dose of violence. <laughs> <laughs> Strong set scene. He that. needs his fix. This he needs is, to, like, this is so he, he's in withdrawal. He needs his violence first. Yeah, because you're using that voice, it's even funnier. <laughs> oh, that. Yeah, it doesn't really matter to me, of course. Always the egotistical jerk, eh? <laughs> what are you saying? I'm not that egotistical. Right now, I'm working for the both of us, you know? Oh, yeah? So it's just a total coincidence that you are sensing chaos energy right in the same blasted forest in which that little pink hedgehog of yours used to live? Uh, uh it's the same? I didn't notice. I just thought I was going into the forest just to flex my pegs in case the girl volleyball club was going to pass by. But that would yeah. be totally coincidental. Yeah, right. They all look alike to me. Oh, give me a break. Break as in uh, car break and not as in break as in uh, snack break. <laughs> yes, yes, it's the wrong kind of break. I'm doing just fine with this emerald hunt, and if I would have the sheer luck to find her in my path, well, use your imagination, Mev. Ugh! Disgusting! Ludicrous! Preposterous! You are really a sick person, brother. Okay, this actually sounds like a dialogue between Strong Bad and Strong Sad now. <laughs> oh, coincidentally. Ah, uh, Luke's who's talk. Luke's who's talking. Oh gosh, Luke who's talking. The dark evil must murder her. Nah, 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 nah. Well, at least I don't go emo every five minutes. <laughs> but you do. <laughs> I lost my crowd as soon as I read that. A strong sad. <laughs> emo, how dare you joke at my sorrow, you immature Nimrod! 
Emo hog. Mephilus the dork. Pervert. Mass murderer. Imbecile. Cretin. Watch for that cliff. What are you? Ah! <laughs> Told you. Jerk. Okay, this is, a, I think this is kind of funny. Come on, we're having this conversation, just bickering like two little teen girl squad members, and then just walks into a cliff. <laughs> yeah. I don't like food anymore. Oh boy, so now we got a dose of Sonic and Tails, it seems. Oh yes! no. Yes, and just in case you thought your torture was over, now we enter the third ring of hell, the one that has <laughs> Tails and Sonic in it. <laughs> this really is the worst, Mad Hog. This is like the worst <laughs> you've ever subjected me to so far. Like, I'm really this, wrong. Like, like this chapter... It's just, like, the worst. <laughs> really? You only say that because you were not there when we read the chapter 8, a.k.a. the longest chapter. <laughs> like, not only is it long, but it's icky. Well, what else is new with you? What else is new with you, as well? Okay. okay. What, what are you what's... implying? Uh... I did that nothing. Let's just let's not bring this up anymore. Let's okay, so okay, so remember that exciting race that those two were going to have at the beginning of the chapter? It happens completely off screen. Yes. <laughs> Screw you! <laughs> well, guess who won? Because if someone doesn't know how to um actually write exciting scenes. I don't know how to make racing exciting. Obviously. You should have uh, just taken from Sonic R. Everybody was oh, no! But Everybody fighting on the ground. Fighting scenes, on the other hand, I go all out with them. I try to, especially in the climax of the story. Tales. I can't believe it. Wanna see the photo finish, bud? No, no. I'm convinced. Wait, let me check your shoes. Eh, access the night, pal. Nobody, not even cool flying foxes or sexy chicks, can touch my sneakers. Uh, I don't know why. I I I think it would have been more uh, Mondo cool if he said sneaks. <laughs> yeah, uh, I did not know it was uh, a way to call. Them. Actually, in the fucking um, actual like so, uh, adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, he constantly called them high tops. Uh, no. Yeah, it was very awful. I didn't even know what high tops were at the time. <laughs> I was watching, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> They're shoes want... or sneakers. I just want to see if they got some rocket booster hidden inside somewhere. Because there's no way in hell that could break the sound barrier otherwise. Yeah, they just broke the sound barrier off screen. Excitement. We had to actually cut time to have the scene in which Fang kidnaps a child and threatens to uh, do unspeakable things to her. And no, Shadow... you actually spoke what they were. <laughs> and Shadow and uh, Mephilus drop off a cliff. Yeah, that was funny at least. Anyway. And they stay at the bottom of that cliff and... You know, Unfortunately for up. you, no. <laughs> Well, I what can I say? Seen from again? Uh, no. <laughs> well, what can I say? I'm fast as the wind blows. No, wait. Well, I have to say, bro, you are the first dude that could ever keep up with me. I'm fairly impressed, my boy. Will you drop that British accent, please? It's obnoxious. My boy. My boy. My boy. <laughs> And a Blockius Rex? Cool! Where is it? Oh gosh, this is the payoff. No! This is he the still payoff. has it? Yeah, this is the payoff for earlier, um, in the previous chapter. Yes. For yeah, cream right. uh, for cream puff's sake. What are you saying? But with ellipsis, it almost seems like Tails is legitimately asking what the hell is he supposed to be? <laughs> yes. Ross. Um. Suddenly, a loud beeping noise interrupted the intellectual speech. You laughed there. Good. I win. It was a bleeping noise, by the way. Whoa! I meant to say more. Whoa! I know Kung Fu! Okay, more Keanu Reeves. Whoa! What's that stuff, bro? What's that stuff? 
<laughs> like as if Tails has drugs on him just now. Suddenly, <laughs> inexplicably, my ad. Okay. Listen, don't call me bro, okay? We're not related, and we knew each other for about ten minutes, which is sh- way shorter than a Resident Evil romance. <laughs> uh. And but bu- and by the way, this is my wrist communicator or toilet, <laughs> and <laughs> and Tails realized. <laughs> And Tails realized too late his mistake. WC! <laughs> you crack me up, little buddy! And that is why the acronym for Risk the Communicator is WC. For this specific just, moment. Just like I thought. Yeah. Oh, shut up! Basically, this is proof that if you actually look at the acronym WC and you think, ah, ha, 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 it's a bathroom, and start laughing like an idiot, you're an immature child. <laughs> Am I right, <laughs> Ross? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Desperately okay. trying to ignore the laughing blue fiend, the kit answered the call. WC, WC now I get it. Ha, 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 ha. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. This is Tails. The holographic image of Knuckles appeared from the watch. Oh, this is going to be good! (laughs) Tails! We've got problems. Big, fat, fucking problems. Um, poor phrasing considering the previous scene. (laughs) Except that's not fat. Before the Katsuni could rightfully ask for a better and less cursing explanation, a rather high-pitched sound stole the scene. Hey! It's a ghost! Mondo Casper! <laughs> oh, God. Mondo Casper, Both it's a Tails ghost! Tails and the inc- in- incredibly enough Knuckles' ghost turned their glares to the hedgehog. Tails was starting to say something but was interrupted for the second time in less than 30 seconds, by another voice. A less high-pitched, but way more loud one. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> it's the small Please things. stop it with the fucking... Okay, sometimes... Yell the blood-red phantom of cursing death. Okay, sometimes it's the small things in life, really. <sighs> the hyperactive nuisance put on... The best smart ass smirk he could ever muster and answered. Oh god, oh yeah, it's coming! You know it's coming! It's coming! <laughs> when, the, when the sound is weird mm, in your neighborhood, mm, who are you gonna call? Sonic the Hedgehog! Uh, no, it doesn't quite work like that, Sonic. Sorry. <laughs> hey bro, I make it work, cause I'm Sonic! Yeah. A gang with the superhero pose. Tails just rolled his eyes. Knuckles, however, was left speechless. He turned his gaze to the kit once again. Well, what asylum has escaped this motherfucker? The boy just sighed. More importantly, what the bloody spawn the hell is he doing here? <laughs> Knuckles, you saved the day with your presence. He wanted to... Tails took a very long breath. Huh? Race me. Excuse me? Insisted the holographic echidna. And he won. Finished the vulpine. A few precious seconds of silence followed. Drink during, it in. <laughs> during such short period, Knuckles had the time to do a few things. One, check his own eyes and brain's correct functionality. Ears. Two, ensure that he was not nuts. Try to digest the actual information he received. Three, give a very good look at the strange blue hedgehog who seemed to come from a video game or a comic book or a retarded TV show or all the things combined. Ha! Four, curse under his breath. Five, punch a hole in the wall as he usually does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fucking give a fucking fuck yeah, you know bucket. what? I, I should have added that there. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I just don't care. Right now, we have more urgent priorities for this matter. Concluded the redneck warrior. God the damn, redneck you really warrior. had to call. 
<laughs> Redneck warrior. <laughs> what? Uh, right now no. we have more urgent priorities for the matter up to it. Doesn't have enough shotgun. <sighs> um, Tails went serious. What happened, Lita? Tails? It was Knuckles' turn to take, take a long breath this time. It's Cream. She took one for the team. His face was showing great concern. And, oh my god, don't know. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I feel bad now. I, I don't should. know what came over me. You should. Stay six. Hang a rabbit. She's a rabbit. That, that's good, right? I mean, if she was six and an actual rabbit, she would be like an old person, but an old rabbit. But sadly, that's not the case. She's been abducted. <laughs> Actually, it is the it. case. She sounds like a granny anyway, so... That's the secret of Chi of uh, Cream. She was old all along. Yeah, sure. The Katsumi's eyes were wide open, his mouth agaping, his ears straight and pointed. For a few moments, he wasn't even breathing. Then he Dude. died from suffocation and the story was over. The <laughs> end! You mean, but we have to save her again, like in the previous story? Yes. Even the carefree Sonic could notice the boy's discomfort, and his expression drastically changed from an overly content to a dead serious one. No more games. This was serious stuff! <laughs> This is serious stuff, you guys. <laughs> serious <laughs> totally business. Totally <laughs> excellent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's carry on here. Oh my god. Because we're so close to the ending of this chapter, and I like to go. Please, love of God. What do you mean it vanished? Exactly what I meant. The track is simply vanished. I can't sense it anymore. How's that possible? Hmm. Someone's been spustered enough. Who? I would like to know, but I have a vague idea who could that be. I see. I was kind of hoping it was me, but I guess I can't be that guy. Shut up. It's time to pay a visit to a little foxy friend of us. Wait, he's a friend? <laughs> Shut up, that's me. Friend. I guess I got the narration this time. Oh, no. I have it. I have never narrated as of late. Okay. Somewhere in a certain flower field, a tiny azure being lied between the daisies. This imp paid a price for his loyalty to its beloved master, who was playing Nuzlocke Pokemon, so he would stay dead. <laughs> <laughs> And now its blood has been spread all over the once white garden. What does what? chow blood look like? Uh, blue? Uh, it's actually transparent, so nobody can actually see it bleeding. Like, what how would you know? Exactly! This is a <laughs> vicious cycle. You don't want to get aboard the vicious cycle. What <laughs> came from nature and naturally has returned to it. But Thanks wait a minute, what, what, what shells were like practically immortal, right? I mean, uh, except they, they wouldn't die of old age, they just kind of evolve and then. Thanks back to a bullet, kind of like a, a sniper, run. and a gust of courage. I, I yeah. guess I'll take this random character that I don't know who it is. Poor little thing, said the newcomer. Here, I shall repair this wrong. With a swift move from his hair, its end, interrogation <laughs> point in between <laughs> brackets. <laughs> you know, the a lot of ways that you could do it. You know, you could say from his um, gloved hand, or the gloved hand or something, so you couldn't get a sense of what. But anyway. The gory scene magically disappeared, and the garden was pure once again. I hate to see such foolishness, such injustice. This world must be saved! Ah, yes! Yes, this is the official, unofficial, first peak introduction to 
the newest character. Yes, another one. And uh, believe it or not, uh, this is the character I actually had more fun writing for. I discovered. Okay. And he is actually communicating with the evil, mysterious mastermind that the VAR is oh, voicing. Oh, okay. Indeed, my child. Indeed. And your path is only just begun. Now go! Find the black and red hedgehog and assist him. Soon our time shall come. I'll comply, father. For you and for her, I will not fail. For I am the trigger. It's you not know, silver. You, you know, my child, I, you, you could put a bit more oomph into it, you know, acting. <laughs> But, but I, I'm trying to save the world. I don't have time to learn how to act. Look, if no one can take you seriously, not hearing one shred of passion in your voice, then how can you be expected to be taken seriously? But I just saved the chow for no reason whatsoever. Actually, he did not. He just uh, reset reality so the ugly scene would not be there to ruin the scenery. He really did not do Jack. <laughs> Well, he doesn't know that he didn't save the chow. Wink, wink. Who wrote this freaking story? Me or you? <laughs> <laughs> clearly well, I did. No. Yeah, clearly <laughs> Ross won. I mean. um, okay, so the reason why the description of his end was so uncertain was to convey the fact that the actual shape of his end is uncertain to begin with. So yes. that should clarify the uh, awkward use of his slash her slash its hand and a very awkward interrogation point in between brackets. Yeah, I, I, I gathered that much. I mean, it's really ugly to look at from a presentation standpoint, but uh, that was the idea. You had to have been a better way of doing it. Oh, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure there was. I'm sure there was. <laughs> All of these aside... We are done here, thank God. Yes, yes, we are done with the current chapter and with the current session of this reading. Join us next time when we shall continue on and get to the even better part of this story. <laughs> Join us next time when we shove a Mad Hog into the Mimic's treasure chest. No. way. <laughs> no. No, I don't approve of that. I did not give my consent. No. Okay, fine. Then we'll bring a completely innocent jar for him to look into. So, uh, oh, I... so as you can see, um, I am trying to build a dynamic in between Knuckles, Sonic, and Tails, which is not too different from the actual dynamic they had. Uh, Correct. But I have, uh, let's just say that certain aspects of their characters have been humped a little bit for comedic sake. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, boy. Anyway, so again, thank you for joining us, everybody. And I hope you will keep listening to this. It's totally worth it, you see. Bye. Yeah, take care and, um, and, and, and good night. Take care and I'm very sorry. Don't report us, please. Bye. Does not want. Hey, this is Fetus Taster with his latest <laughs> in-ring talk show that I have for some reason. I'm going to have my guest at this time, which is Brom Queen the Murderizer! <laughs> Brom Queen, <laughs> what are you going to do to your opponent tonight? Oh, Brom Queen is going to violate its opponents tonight! Oh, <laughs> ah, oh, ah, oh. All yelling. Okay. Yeah. Good night!